This is still Matthew. Then we're on chapter five. I love the Beatitudes. I write them on the bottoms of the rocks that I, I disperse through my town on my little travels with my scooter. So, um, yeah. I, um, this is actually my Bible that I, I copied off because I could not find the, all the Beatitudes. Everything says that there's eight of them, but I have nine. So I'm going with mine. Let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who just instructs the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the same spirit to have a right judgment in all things and ever rejoice in his consolation. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Matthew 5, the Beatitudes. And seeing the crowds, he went up the mountain, and then when he was seated with his disciples, came to him. And opening his mouth, he taught them by saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the meek, for they shall possess the earth. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for justice, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who suffer persecution for justice, for justice's sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men reproach you and persecute you and speaking falsely, say all manner of evil against you for my sake. Rejoice and exult because your reward is great in heaven. For so did they persecute the prophets who were before you. Matthew chapter five, the Beatitudes. 2 through 12. Amen. God be with you.